Hey guys, I'm Amrat and today I will show you how to set up your Nogit. So first of all, you will need to have some directory in which you will have data folder with MPQs. You can either use your game client or you can create a new directory with your uh, project files. I prefer to do the latter. So I have my projects folder. In it, I have multiple project directories for my projects. And in every single project directory, I have data folder and all another, so all another files directed to that project, basically. Uh, so use either of those. Uh, then you will need to get your Nogit. Uh, in my tool pack, you can find two Nogit versions in map section, either SDL 1.4, that's two years old version, which is considered stable, and it is the last stable version. And there is uh, this beta version, which is really great, but uh, it's still being developed, it's still being changed. So use either of those. However, if you want to use beta version, I would suggest you to keep making backups of your files. Uh, so how to set up it? Uh, when you just open a Nogit, it will most likely just shut it down like this, like now. So what to do? open this log.txt file and here you can uh, always find a lot of information about your Nogit and what is going on. First of all, you can see that uh, a lot of files couldn't be found because uh, paths are incorrect. These game path, project path, these are definitely incorrect as you can see. So let's change them. Uh, paths are to be set in Nogit.conf file. So this file, nugget.conf, open it in WordPad or Notepad, whatever you like. And you will need to get your path to your folder where your data directory is. Not this directory, not data directory, folder in which data folder is. So like this, or you can use Word of Warcraft path like this, whatever you like and insert this backslash at the end. You don't have to do it uh, in the newest beta versions. However, you definitely need to add this uh, backslash in 1.4. So I would advise you to add this backslash here because it is a path to folder, not to file. Project path, I prefer to use the same as a path to uh, my uh, root folder with data folder. So this, was, this will be my folder where my data folder is and to where my project files will be saved. And then a path to import file uh, that you can enter whatever you like, but I prefer to use just path to this import.txt file in my Nogit folder. So this is my Nogit folder. I will use path to it. And slash import txt. Uh, Wolf model viewer, uh, that's a path to your Wolf model viewer. In. So in tools, there's this other folder. Here is Wolf model viewer, Wolf model viewer, viewer for Rapadovich King. Let's use that. User settings. And here is this log txt file. So you need path to this file. So this path backslash log.txt and why this uh, because that log.txt will contain paths to your uh, models which are co-opened in Wolf model viewer at the moment that's useful because you will use this for importing files uh, to your nugget this far z is uh, just rendering distance i prefer to use 1024 why uh, simply because uh, it's the same as in-game client. Uh, you don't need to use higher value, however, you can use a lower value, for example, 512, uh, if you get too lucky. And your tablet mode, if you don't have tablet, just use false save, yes, and now should not get run. As you can see, it didn't close. Paths are now paths are now correct. And another thing to note here is this. Uh, here is my 
GeForce card, GeForce GTX. So as you can see, it is using my GeForce card. It isn't using my Intel HD card. If you have two graphical cards, two GPUs in your computer, uh, you need to make sure that your Nogit is using the stronger one. If your Nogit is too laggy and uh, you notice that there is uh, Intel HD or another sort of crap here, uh, you need to change your GPU which is being used by Nogit. How to do that? Go to your start, type NVIDIA here. NVIDIA setting panel, when it loads finally, you need to get to, come on, <laughs> move your ass, ah. this thing is always horrible, so I don't know why, honestly. And we need to get to 3D settings and here click on add. I hope that my Czech version isn't too confusing for you. Click on browse and you will need to enter our Nogit path, select Nogit, open and now you just need to make sure that here is uh, your stronger NVIDIA card here. High speed processor, or powerful processor, I don't know what will be there in English version or whatever version you have, and apply. So now we have made sure that our Nugget is using our more strong GPU. When this is finally done, Nugget should run without any issues. So as you can see, Nugget is now running, and when I open a map here, it won't get too laggy for me. Another thing to note uh, is that uh, setup in uh, Nugget uh, 1.4 is a little bit different. When we get to its folder here and open its Nugget conf file, you can see that there are only three paths here. Uh, those two paths here are the same as this path and this uh, project path. So these are already the same. What has changed is this import file path because this import file path is the same as both model your log file. So this path to log.txt should be used in older versions here in, in, on import file line. And FARZ is still the same. This is the only difference, uh, and uh, the old Nogit versions would be set up in the same way as uh, new beta, apart from this. And that's pretty much it. That's the way how to make Nogit work. By the way, this uh, folder we have set once again. This folder, this uh, project path, modding projects, medieval here. Uh, uh, all our modified files or all our save files will be here so you can uh, see here word maps map name and my map here so this is a path where our files will be saved you don't need to create this path no git will create it for you and that's pretty much it thanks for watching i hope that this was useful for you have a nice day and happy modding guys